Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ini TV. We are global and social commentator. Today, it's going to be a Tertullian class, a learning class. Yeah. The reason why we are doing this video is because most of our subscribers are men. We have about 55 percentage of male subscribers. And many of them are based in Europe and also America, Canada, and Australia. But the bulk of our fans are in America, UK, Italy, Spain, Belgium, and Australia. So that is why we are going to make this video. So if it's the first time you're coming across this video, this is Ini TV. We are global and social commentators. We'll ask you to please subscribe to this channel. Let's grow together. After you subscribe, just press the notification bell button so that each time we upload videos, it comes directly to you. And for our returning subscribers, you are the reason we are making this video. So please stay tuned. We are aware that driving is one of the simplest things to do and also one of the hardest thing to do especially now that europe and other parts of the world is going through this winter is approaching winter is approaching and it's not the same way you drive during the summer you should also drive in winter it's a little bit more complicated and that's why we are making this video. We're going to break it into three parts. Preparing the car before you go to bed. That's the first part. Before you go to bed, it is important that before you finally go and drop your car, your car has more than half of your tank. When we talk in terms of petrol, diesel, whatever your car uses especially the electric cars now don't go to bed without stopping or plugging your electric cars it's very important and before you go make sure that if your cars if you're the one that your car is parked outside make sure that your windscreen is covered up you can go to an auto spare parts and get windscreen protection for winter and there's also a protection for the side mirror. The reason for this is that if your car is parked outside, by the time you come back in the morning, it's covered with snow. And sometimes you have to scrub and scrub and scrub just to make sure that the your vision is, is, is at least visible that you can drive. And sometimes it takes time and this can get you nervous and you begin to hurry patient is one of the virtue that you have to adopt to inculcate during winter driving period so when that has been done now you come in in the morning so the second part is preparing your car for winter it's very important your tires your brake and your lights these are very important. Your tire has to be 6 mm. That is what is recommended. If it's not, it does not grip the floor properly. The minimum, it should not be less than 4. It should not be less than 4. If it's 3, it's advisable. It's not good, but... Maybe be because of finance and all the rest, if you check that it's theory, know it that your car does not grip perfectly as it should. So the minimum is four. But theory, we'll see it as a yellow light. Then we talk about your headlights or your fog lights or your tail lights. They have to be working properly. And should pass, in Spain, we call it it weaving. In 
the UK it's MOT. I think in Nigeria is VIO, Vehicle Inspection, something like that. I'm not too sure. So you should make sure that your light is not just you have light, but it's in the right position and has the right beam. Then we we'll also talk about brake. It is very important that all your brake, the front, the back, your handbrake are all in perfect condition. Because sometimes it's difficult to stop your car at the exact point that you want your car to stop during winter. So it's very important. Then the third part is you have to have a new culture, a new way of driving. That's the third part. You have to be very conscious. You have to drive carefully. It is recommended that when you are, if it's snowing, you've been covered, the floor is covered with snow, you have to move your car in high gear, like your second gear, Jar 2. Don't move in Jar 1, because Jar 1 has a lot of force. And when you move like that, it could, it could wear, slide, your tire could slide with the snow. So that's why it's recommended to move in Jar 2, which of course would not push the car so strong and you will be able to slide into the snow and drive smoothly. It is also recommended that you have to be extremely careful on your brakes. You will try as much as possible not to match your brake so brusquely it's recommended that sometimes you use your gear your engine brake you see sometimes when you change from a higher gear to a lower gear the car goes faster so you should change from a higher gear to a lower gear sometimes to make the car go a little bit slow it's a way of breaking the speed of the car using the engine, the revolution of the engine. And it's also important you should know that you have six blind spots while driving. Six. You have two in the front. You have two by your side and you have two behind. So even if you have your two side mirrors, your rear view mirror, you can't see 360 degree. You should bear that in mind. That's why you have to be extremely careful when you're doing your maneuvering. Another thing that is important is keep a reasonable distance. Keep a reasonable distance. You see, a lot of people will tell you that there is no special measurement to keep distance. But what you should know, on a normal day, the distance you keep on your motorway is not the same distance you keep within the town, urban. In a motorway, you are expected to keep 60, at least 60 meters. Because if we Convert it to time, it will be like 30 seconds. It is believed you need at least 30 seconds to stop your car. Because by the time you see an obstacle, it takes you one second. And by the time you march on your brake, it takes you another second. And by the time the car stops, at least if it's within time, it will take another second. So, that is why within time, it is advisable to keep a reasonable distance. Sometimes the distance you keep, other car users might click in. Fine. You shouldn't bother. Your safety is important to you. Forget about what others are doing. 
safety first. So you have to, within time, keep three seconds. If it's on the motorway, at least, at least 60 meters, at least. And we should try as much as possible. In some countries, especially in Europe, it is advisable to drive with your headlight on. Whether it's during the day, as long as it's you are driving, your headlight should be on. Because it is believed that when your headlight is on, the in incoming vehicle sees you more than when your headlight is not on. So, we wish you all happy winter. I will pray and hope that by 2023, we will see you back nice and sound. We want to send this message to all our subscribers and those who also view our videos. Your safety is important to us. Remember, like we say, we're one big family. I watch your back and you watch my back. With that, we say we've gone to the end of this video. And so if it's the first time you're coming across this video, we'll ask you to please subscribe. After you subscribe, just press the notification bell button so that each time we upload, it comes directly to you. And for our returning subscribers, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember again, we were one big family. Like the saying goes, it takes two to tango. Let's tango together. Until we we'll make the next video, we'll say adios, chooks, au revoir, ciao. Hasta la vista. Thank you.